Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to do another what's on my iPad video since I have gotten a new iPad recently. So this is the iPad 7th generation. I'm coming from the iPad mini. Now things haven't really changed too much, but just a few things have. So I want to go ahead and make this video real quick for you. Now these videos will probably be, you know, maybe a once a month or so, but really my iPad layout doesn't change that often. So maybe it'll only be whenever it changes a lot. So let's just go ahead and talk about this real quick. So this is my first experience uh, using iPad OS. So I now have my uh, widgets over here on the left side. Uh, I have my batteries, weather, stocks, uh, I believe it's news, and a calculator as well as Siri shortcuts. So that's over there on the side. I really love the new uh, widgets staying on the home screen like that. Okay, so first thing here in my Apple folder, I just have a few random Apple applications. So the camera, FaceTime, contacts, maps, photo booth, find my, the new find my application, which is really nice, voice memos. Uh, the calculator, even though it's not an Apple application, I just put it right there. Still don't know why the iPad doesn't come with a calculator, but whatever, it's just Apple. Uh, reminders, the Siri Shortcuts app, which is now included in iPadOS, and then the Photos application. And then after that, we have uh, Messages, Mail, Calendar, Settings, and Clock, pretty self-explanatory. And then we have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, YouTube Studio, and the App Store. Now, I'm kind of debating on whether I should really have apps like Facebook or Twitter, uh, since the iPad OS has the full desktop browsing now, you really don't need a lot of applications uh, unless you just really want them because you could literally just browse the internet and have those full desktop sites now. So I haven't really decided. I might not have any apps at all on this thing here in a few weeks, but who knows? Haven't figured it out yet. And then we have the Apple Stocks application. Uh, TD Ameritrade, CNBC, Finance, Yahoo Finance, Wall Street Journal, and Apple News. And then below that, we have the Apple Podcast app, uh, at and TV, which was formerly DirecTV Now, which is a great streaming service. Um, and then we have the Apple TV app. I've been trying that out as well since uh, you get one year free uh, whenever you buy a new Apple device. So... I've got a free year of that, so I've been trying it out lately. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on that here in a few weeks or so. And then we got the Apple Books app. And then we have Solo Learn, which, in case you don't know, is an app for coding. Uh, it teaches you coding, pretty much any programming language you want. It's a really good app. I tried several of them, and uh, that is the one that I found that I actually like. Um, so it's really nice if you are trying to learn how to program or want to get better at a language then that's the app you need to get and then Khan Academy is a great app for learning pretty much anything I use it for you know uh, programming purposes but it's also great for other subjects in school and it's just a really good app so that's why I have that right there and then down here in my dock I have the Apple Files app uh, Google Drive app, the Microsoft Office Suite, so Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook. And then we have the Chegg e-reader app. That's for my uh, textbooks. And then we have the Apple Notes, Spotify, and Safari. And then we have the recent applications right there on the right side. Now really on the dock, uh, I use it for pretty much all my school purposes. So. You know, all my school files I got in the Files app in Google Drive. Use, obviously, Microsoft Office a whole lot in school. And then, like I said, uh, Chegg e-reader app for my textbooks. And then Apple Notes app is my current notes solution for now. But I am planning on picking up an Apple Pencil here soon, as well as GoodNotes 5. So I'll be doing videos on that, showing you how that works on the 7th gen iPad. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for this video. Um, that's what my current setup is right now on the iPad 7th generation. Uh, like I said, I only make videos like this when significant changes occur um, to my 
uh, home screen or whatever. So be on the lookout for the next video. You only remember see it when a change occurs, but that's all I got for you guys right now. Uh, by the way, my semester is over, so that means I'll be able to get out a lot more content for you guys. I'm going to try to get out twice a week some uploads, Mondays and Thursdays, 2 p.m. Central Time. Uh, but yeah, just be on the lookout for fresh content every week. And I just appreciate all the subscribing you guys have been doing and feedback and likes on the videos. It means a lot. So I thank you very much for that. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see with the iPad 7 generation. Still got a lot of content to make with it. But I will catch you all in the next video.